Hey guys, so we'll be going over how to get jacked, how to bulk up without getting too fluffy, okay? So the number one thing is a time game. I think most of us, we don't bulk for long enough. Second thing is food. Sometimes we overestimate how much we need to eat or sometimes we underestimate how much we need to eat. And the third thing is going to be what kind of foods to eat and then going into how training is almost way more important in a bulking phase to get that look you want. And the last thing being movement, right? You want to make sure you're still doing some cardio, some walks, things like that for overall health purposes, right? So let's get right into it time-wise. Most of us are like, oh yeah, bro, I'm ready to bulk for the next like two, three months. I want to get pretty jacked but it takes so much longer than that, right? So what I would suggest is set up your bulk for at least six to eight months to see any gains possible, right? So set it up for six to eight months. And what I mean by that is stick through it for the six to eight months. Like there'll be at times where you'll be like, yo, I feel like I'm getting a little fluffy. I put on some fat, I feel a little bloated. Yeah, hope you're all happy now. It's okay. It's part of the process. Focus on better food choices and things like that and be going for walks, but don't quit on your bulk. Stick through it for six to eight months, you wanna see some gains at least, okay? And the second thing is, it's okay if you put on some fluff, right? Like I mentioned before. And the third thing is gonna be, stop changing shit up, man. Just cause you know, you're bulking now doesn't mean you're gonna do some crazy hippie workouts, you know? Choose your workout plan and progressively overload every single time, right? So for example, like it doesn't have to be, yo, I'm bulking now, I'm just gonna go heavy on everything. You can still do progressions in different manners, right? So you can be like, okay, this week I'm gonna increase a little bit of sets. This week, I'm going to increase some reps and a movement. This week, I'm going to add some weight. So progress different, different ways on different, different exercises, but keep that constant progression going for those six to eight months. And right after that, making sure you're in a surplus where you're doing this bulk, right? That's the main thing that's going to put on that tissue. If you're not eating enough, right? Your body is going to be like, yo, I don't have enough calories to put on muscle. It doesn't have calories to put on that tissue, right? So make sure you're in a 250 to 500 calorie surplus. And the other side of that is don't be like a thousand calorie surplus. Doesn't mean you're just gonna gain more muscle. You're just gonna end up putting unnecessary fat on. If you have too much fat on you, your testosterone is gonna go down. So your muscle building phase is not gonna be as efficient. So be in a slight surplus, 250 to 500, and just trust the process, man. Gain like maybe aim for 0.5 pounds a week, two pounds a month maximum and that should give you nice progress, right? Like you can get a little bit more than that, but track your progress pictures to make sure you're not getting too fluffy. A little bit of fluff is fine. Third thing being processed foods. What I mean by this is like, I know when we go into a bulk, I know I've done this for a long time. It's like, yo, I can eat anything I want now. So I'm gonna go out with the girl, go out with the boys, go with the mom, dad, dog, eat the dog's food, like fuck, eat everything. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't wanna do that because what that's gonna do is your body is gonna have to work even harder to get rid of all the inflammation through the foods you're eating. It's not gonna be able to focus on the muscle building part. And the third thing is gonna happen, you're gonna put on excess body fat. So like we mentioned before, you don't want too much fat on you, right? Less testosterone, more lethargic feeling, more sluggish, means your performance in the gym is gonna suffer, right? So what I like doing is taking the approach of 80-20, right? So 80% of the time, I still eat pretty good during my bulk. So like, it'd be like rice, chicken, veggies, fruits, making sure everything is clean. And that 20%, I go into the zone where like maybe, you know, I'll have a burrito once or twice a week. I'll eat with the boys, eat with the girl, eat with the mom, whatever, right? Once or twice a week, or even every single day, like that last night meal, I might add something to it that I enjoy. It might be like my rice chips or like dark chocolate, or sometimes even a burrito at night, you know what I'm saying? So like 80-20 rule, follow that. So you throw out the bulk, you're looking pretty juicy too, and I'm just getting fat, okay? And now this can be easily the first point, is the discipline, right? So this, carries over for everything we just talked about. If you're not as disciplined as you are while you're cutting during your bulk, you're not gonna make significant progress. What I mean by this is still track your lifts, track your macros, track your pictures, track your body weight, everything, because this is gonna make sure you're constantly making progress because this is where you're getting that muscle that makes you look jacked. And we're trying to get jacked here, right? So you wanna be disciplined with your training, tracking calories, and constantly making some progress, making some adjustments if needed, but just sticking through it. So stay disciplined with it. Don't be like, oh, I'm bulking, I'm just gonna eat food, that means I'll gain muscle. The muscle is gonna be in the gym. So make sure you're training hard, you're putting in that effort, you're not just you know, recording for a gram like me, right? Actually train hard, make progress, because this is where the muscle is gonna come. And the last thing, movement. So this has two parts to it. So number one, if you're like, oh, I'm bulking now, that means like, yo, cardio is gonna kill my gains, walks and shit is gonna kill my gains. 
You're going to be missing out on the health aspect of things where, you know, you want to keep moving for heart health purposes, but also digestion purposes. If you're feeling bloated all the time, you're not digesting food, it's going to be hard for your body to build muscle. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you're still moving, going for your walks, aim to like, you know, eight to 10,000 steps, maybe keep in like one to two cardio sessions a week. But on the other side, if you're a really active person, you're doing a lot, you're moving a lot, you're doing lots of steps, you're doing a lot of cardio still during your bulk, your energy expenditure is high, right? So you need to match that with higher surplus, higher calorie intake, or you just bring the energy expenditure a little bit lower, maybe lesser cardio, lesser walks, right? So just be smart with the movement stuff. Um, but yeah, these are top five things that people usually don't consider at times or don't stick to for long enough to get jacked and bulk up properly, right? So hope this helped. Um, if it helped, you know, please share, please like and all that stuff and comment any questions, anything I can clarify. But hopefully you guys get pretty juicy, you guys bulk up and uh, get pretty jacked. Take it easy.